Hey, have you ever thought of starting a hair extension business and you don't know the difference between a raw hair and processed hair or Remy or nano Remy hair? This is the video for you. Let's get started. <music> video and we are going to be comparing the difference between raw hair and processed hair. My name is Nancy the Edith. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any video from this channel. This channel is all about business motivation and lifestyle. So I know most of you, the business owners who are planning to come into hair business 2021 or 2022, which is two months ahead. I know you planning to start a hair business or start a hair company or you want her to add hair extension in your own your business so this is a video for you. understand the difference between a raw hair and a processed hair let us talk about the longevity of hair extensions when it comes to uh, processed hair the wrong it doesn't last longer like uh, raw hair because of the process that it goes through to change the textures like kink curly, deep wave, loose wave, natural wave. So processed hair goes through a process of chemical, sometimes silicone, sometimes hotness. So sometimes, so which makes it not to not to last so longer than raw hair. For the case of raw hair, it is just a matter of cutting from the donor and they bring it to uh, wash, sorting out and. Uh, conditioning and that is all so there is no process there is no chemicals involved that's why when it comes to the longevity the raw hair will last longer because it didn't go through any chemical process but processed hair will not last longer due to the chemical process that it has gone through so which makes it uh, raw hair last longer than processed hair extensions now let us compare the behaviors and the prices uh, between the raw hair and processed hair when it comes to behaviors during weather conditions raw hair would behave like your natural hair extension your natural hair from your scalp if it can if it is winter or summer it will behave like same as your natural hair so what you have to do is to take care of you to, to take care of your uh, raw hair extensions because if you don't you may it may end up tangling it may end up being frizzy kind of stuff so what you have to do is to give it a good care of your hair extensions but when it comes to processed hair like body wavy body wave or kink curly it, it is just it doesn't uh, it's not affect, affected by weather condition or anything however you should also take good care of it but when in a comparison raw hair is high maintenance and processed hair is low maintenance and let's compare the prices because when it comes to the prices raw hair raw hair will be expensive because it lasts it is a long lasting hair extension if you take good care of your raw hair extension it is going to last you longer than processed hair the reason why processed hair doesn't last longer it is because of the process it went through when they were trying to achieve certain textures like kink curly uh, deep wave or even achieving some colors because it has to go through breaching and all that kind of stuff which makes it known to last longer but raw hair will last longer but it needs more care now let us compare let us see which one is the best which one is you supposed to buy for your business to be honest all all those hair extensions you see are good hair extensions however it depends on your customer it depends on your customer's desire some people they will like 
raw hair some people they prefer processed hair because even with a limited of uh, raw hair you can only find two textures natural straight and a little bit of wavy but with the processed hair it comes with a variety of hair textures so which makes it to be both nice hair extensions so if you're coming into the business hair extension business you need to mix in because they are all good hair extensions and customers are willing to pay for it so if you're really new to this business and you've been looking for a vendor uh, free vendors you can find them on alibaba.com but if you don't mind picking a vendor list i'm going to leave to leave the vendor list in a description box below you're gonna find five vendors two in china two in india and one in vietnam so go to the uh, description box below and choose uh, and pick a vendor list they are all reliable and that those are the vendors that we use they will be willing to serve you and they'll be willing to send you the product remember those vendors they also ship worldwide they ship in africa they ship in america they ship in canada they will ship in australia they ship all over the world so if you're starting a, a business now a hair extension now or 2022 or you're preparing to come into the field it is okay to pick up the vendor list because it has all all the vendors on that list we uh we have tested them and they are right they will come with their contact their contact list you'll find them their social links are available their websites are on the list and all their contact information so go click in the description box below and grab your vendor list and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any video from this channel so that's it for today guys hope we meet um, in the next video because i upload one video every week and don't forget to leave the comment below if you want to know anything about hair extensions i'll be glad to do that video bye bye see you next time bye